What's going on, guys? Welcome back here to the channel. My name's Zach, if it's your first time dropping in. And there's a lot going on right now. And we talk about Bitcoin and this window, this time that we're in right now with Bitcoin, because the gap, the window is closing on us fast. And we have to act, right? If we want to be on the right side of history, this is the time where you have to take advantage of where Bitcoin is today, the opportunity that we have right in front of us. And trying to get this thing to focus a little bit. There we go. And here's the thing. The big institutions, they know this too. They know that this is changing and they can control all the Bitcoin. And I want to talk about just how big this is because the institutions, once these Bitcoin ETFs went live, it is insane just how big of the Bitcoin supply these institutions already have. And we're going to talk about this in a lot of different ways. And there's not enough time to sit and wait right now. You know, dollar cost averaging in Bitcoin has been a strategy I deployed back in April of 2022. It's the only crypto I buy a little bit of it every day. The altcoin space is crazy, right? We just don't know exactly what's going to happen. Sure, there's a ton of gains right now to be had in tons of different sectors, and I'm certainly taking advantage of that. But when it comes to the longevity, the long-term game with crypto, there's nothing bigger in my portfolio. There's no bigger plans than Bitcoin. And I want to show you guys this, and, and this, this should solidify why I'm going so hard into Bitcoin, because if you take a look at this, the institutions have now bought 3.3% of Bitcoin supply in three weeks. Guys, do we understand how big of a deal that is? 3.3% of the supply in three weeks. Imagine what's going to happen in three months. Imagine what's going to happen in three years. So check this out. The ETFs went live, of course. And there hasn't been an immediate impact on the price. So people feel as if like it was a nothing burger. I feel like a lot of people have checked out since Bitcoin came down from 49,000. They're like, hey, it's not what we thought it was. We'll kind of just exit crypto again and forget about it for a while. But it's not at all what's happening. Um, even though the price has somewhat leveled off and nothing's really happening, the moral of the story is BlackRock, Fidelity, and company are stacking Bitcoin. BlackRock, the world's asset manager, is among the institutions, of course, the biggest. They're the biggest asset manager in the world. Bitcoin ETF applicants bolster the supply of Bitcoin. Again, uh, these 11 spot Bitcoin ETF in just weeks have 3.3% of the supply. Uh, and 19.61 million Bitcoin in the circulating supply right now. But this is going to get crazy in the next year or two. And again, this window is closing because you are not going to be able to have a chance like we have today a year from now, two years from now. They're going to own way more of the supply. You're going to be, people are going to be waiting, waiting, waiting and having to get their crypto from BlackRock and others. And if you want to own your own keys, now is the time. And I've been trying to tell people not in crypto this right? Because so many people feel comfortable going through their trusted broker. And I get it. I get it. But once you really do a deep dive into crypto, you know that the way to hold your crypto is to hold your crypto. Now, listen to this because the halving is coming up. We know that, right? And we're going to have a supply and demand shock at the same time. And, you know, we got headlines like this. Bitcoin ETFs did not meet initial expectations. See, I, I didn't think it was going to go to 60,000. I don't know what people thought, right? But it was definitely a little bit of a buy the rumor, sell the news. We saw the run up to 49K. But remember, guys, if you were here in 2023, Bitcoin went from 16,000 all the way up to 45. So I didn't think this was going to go crazy parabolic. But Gary Gensler, the chair of the SEC, expressed irony in approving spot Bitcoin ETFs. He believes that such financial products contradict the principles of Bitcoin, introducing centralization to the digital asset. 
Gensler cautioned that this decision could exacerbate speculation and add to the volatility of an already unstable market. Who cares what they say now? Because we've got the ETF, and I think we're going to get an Ethereum ETF. But the window is closing on retail investors because the institutions are here and they're not going to stop. While they have 3.3% of the supply now, what are they going to have a year from now? BlackRock will be the largest owner of Bitcoin, I think, within the next 12 to 18 months. At the pace that they're accumulating Bitcoin right now, they are going to own the majority of the supply. That's happening. So if that doesn't open your eyes to start looking at Bitcoin like I look at Bitcoin, I look at it as a savings account. And you can, you guys can, obviously this is not financial advice, right? But I look at Bitcoin as my safe haven asset, my store of value, digital gold. That's how I look at Bitcoin. And I think more and more people have to see that as such, right? To really understand where we're going and the opportunity here that we all have, right? So before we get up on out of here, I do want to um, share with you guys uh, a trading platform that um, I've been using. It's called Margex. Uh, Margex is easy sign up, no KYC. If you're looking for an exchange for leverage trading, this is a awesome platform I've been using. We actually got Caspa listed to it. It's really cool. You can actually, when you sign up and start trading a little bit and you know you want to get a crypto added here like Miro or some new cap that has volume, they actually listen to you and it's really cool actually. You can uh, actually have a difference, make a difference and get new cryptos added to the platform. Again, we all kind of came together. My friend uh, Sam, my financial friend, uh, especially came together and they got Caspa listed on Marjack. So if you guys are looking for an exchange, I got an unbelievable deal for you down in the description. Uh, it's going to be 20% off your fees right out of the gate. So check that out if you're looking to trade. But the Bitcoin window is closing, guys. And what side of history do you want to be on? I think that's a big question. And I think it's on all of us to spread the good word about Bitcoin. You know, I was doing it last night with some people who are not Bitcoiners. Um, but I'm going to continue to do that and uh, continue to put out information like this. So smash the like button, guys. Appreciate you guys for checking this video out and uh, come back again. We'll see you in the next one.